Welcome to part two of the Hour of Code with Alice, coding the animation. In part one of this tutorial, you created a scene containing characters and props. In this part, you will create program code to animate the characters in the scene. In this tutorial, we will continue where part one left off. If you do not have Alice running and this project opened, see the printed version of this tutorial before watching the rest of this video. In our story, Garfield and Odie have been sliding around on a slippery ice-covered lake. The lake's surface isn't completely frozen, and there is a pond-like area with open water. Odie has most likely been playing around with a dead fish, and he now smells like the fish. Garfield decides that Odie needs a bath. To create the animation, each action of our story will be coded as a statement in Alice's code editor. Make sure that you have opened your version of this scene and that you are in the Alice code editor as shown here. On the left side of the window are two panels, the object tree at the top and the details panel on the bottom. At the lower right is a yellow tabbed area labeled World, My First Animation. This yellow tab is where the code statements will be created. The first action in our story is Garfield is going to move forward to bump into or collide with Odie. As you remember, Garfield is standing about one and a half meters behind Odie. This distance is measured from the center point of Garfield to the center point of Odie. Select Garfield in the object tree. You do this by clicking on the tile labeled Garfield. Now we want to select the action tile in the methods tab of the details panel. Use the mouse to click and drag the move tile into the code editor. Pop-up menus prompt you for the direction, which in this case will be forward, and the distance, which will be one meter. To test our code, click on the play button in the upper left corner of the Alice programming environment. A runtime window will pop up where you can view the animation as the code runs. You see Garfield move forward to collide with Odie. You can push the restart button several times to view the animation. When you are finished viewing the animation, close the runtime window to return to the code editor. Next, we will create a statement in which Odie will move forward. We don't really know exactly how far Odie is from the pond, so we will make a good guess and try 4 meters as the distance. Select Odie in the object tree and drag the Move tile from the Details panel into the code editor. Again, we select Forward and we will select Other from the pop-up menus. A number pad will be displayed. Enter 4.0 and click OK. Click on the play button to test your code. Odie should now be on the pond as we see here. If Odie does not end up in the pond, you will need to adjust the distance that Odie moves forward. To do this, click the 4 meters button in the Odie Moves statement and select Other to bring up the keypad to enter a value that you think will work better. No doubt you have noticed that the two code statements we created were executed one after the other. Garfield moves forward, and then Odie moves forward. Now we want to create code to have Odie move down into the water and make a splash sound at the same time. Alice has a do together control statement. The do together control tile is found here at the bottom of the code editor. To use Do Together, click on the Do Together tile and drag it into the code editor. Create a code statement and put it into the Do Together block that will have Odie move down 5 meters. Select Odie in the object tree if he's not already selected. Grab the Move tile, pull it into the Do Together, select Down, and select 5 meters from the drop down menu. Now, in the Details Methods panel, find the Play Sound tile and drag it into the Do Together block. From the drop-down menu, find the Splash command and select it. 
test our code by clicking on the play button. Odie should fall down into the water and you should hear a splash sound. If you do not hear a splash sound, check that your computer sound is turned on and is loud enough to hear. The next step is to have Garfield turn to face the camera. Select Garfield in the object tree and drag the turn to face tile into the code editor. Select camera as the target. Finally, we want to have Garfield say bath time. Find the say statement, drag it into the code editor, select other, and into the dialog box, type bath time, and click OK. Now click on the play button to test our code. You may wish to have the text bubble displayed a little longer on the screen. If so, click on the More option in the Say Statement, select Duration, and select the number of seconds that you think appropriate for the Say Statement. And test it again. This completes the Hour of Code with Alice tutorial. Return to the Hour of Code website. There you will be able to share that you have completed this Hour of Code activity, and you may also receive a certificate for completing the Hour of Code. Feel free to take some time to explore more of Alice by modifying or expanding this story, or even creating an animation of your own design.